Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you the National League Wild Card Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Absolutely. And it might seem like there's not as much pressure if you've already got a win in game one. But they're dying to close this series out right here and now. The last thing they want is to lose the momentum and go into a do-or-die game three. That's a lot of pressure. Now, Sometimes it feels like every game in a three-game series is do-or-die. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Jay Mack. Well, he's very unique for one clear reason, Boog, and that's because he throws a screwball, a legit screwball. It's not just a two-seam fastball that has run. Tonight, and pretty much no one throws a the true screwball in this game oh, anymore, but he does, and he actually can be really effective with the pitch. It kind of breaks like a slider, but it moves to the pitcher's arm side instead of the glove side. You know, I'm really excited to see it in action because I've heard it is devastating. The 0-1. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And here it comes. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Goes down looking. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, one down. And the right-hander deals. That one the other way. Pulls it in for the out. That is third. The first base is number three. And time now for the Phillies lineup. They'll be contending with a knuckleballer today. And, of course, that's just not something you see very often in today's game. And, Boog, I'll speak uh, from firsthand experience. I feel for these guys today because it's pretty difficult to get comfortable against a knuckleballer unless you see them more regularly than once every few years. So today it's going to be all about how this pitcher is able to keep the ball from spinning, get that movement floating towards the plate, and then late diving action at the end. Good luck figuring out where to swing. Just as hard for the catcher, maybe even more so than for the Please hitters sometimes. Hit. Next oh. one misses, and the count oh. is one and one. one. Certainly you'd say Bryce Three Harper's now, signature two. moment, game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That Three. opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. Swings and misses, struck him out. Down quickly go the Phillies. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. This is the National League Wild Card Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Going one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The 0 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
The 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Got him swinging. One away. Had him way out in front of the knuckleball there. That thing just floats and dances to the plate. And as a hitter, kind of feels like it'll never get there. You've got to try to find a way to stay on that back leg and just let it travel as deep as possible. Tough to do, though. Here's Trey Turner. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. Righty to the plate. Hard hit, right side. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting six, the third baseman, Alec. Bohm. Two outs, base is empty. Alec Bohm, the next to hit. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. In there, and it's 0-1. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag, and the Phillies are set down in order. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail things here to nothing. And welcome back. New Lead inning getting Philly. started. And now it is JT Real Muto. The why to kick the pitch. Foul ball. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. Hey, nobody out now. Here's the 0 2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Smash to the left side. Fires across the diamond. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting it. The right fielder, number eight. Nick Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos, a former All-Star in the eighth spot in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2010. In there for strike one. One strike. Bounce to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The designated hitter, Johan Rojas. Next is the designated hitter, Johan Rojas. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age oh, is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. The wind of the pitch. He oh. just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. That oh. one close, rule the ball. Two balls and a strike. Swings and misses. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies down in order, and they're down 2-0. Back here at City Field as we go to the top of the fourth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. That's in for a strike. The pitch. And there's a strike. And another ball. And he deals. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. That's a strike, and it's 0-1. The Phillies yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is in for a strike. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Kicks and fires. That pitch gets the inside corner. That is strike two. Righty delivers. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can yeah, see man. already, his the bat stays in the zone oh. on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard. At Harper off of first with two away. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Sends it to Vogel back. Schwarber out of the play. Out number three. Philly strand one. They're still down. It's two zip. here in Queens all set for the start of the inning Trey Turner at the plate Chris Trey Turner has turned into one of the best all-around players in the game you think speed with Trey Turner but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well that's through there for a strike yeah he's a kind of a thin wiry guy but packs some punch with the bat but I gotta say the speed does jump out and it's on both sides of the ball where he can change the game Turner is out, and there's one down. The battle, the third base and, and now it's Alec Bohm. Oh, for one so far. Oh. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball. One strike. There's a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. One down, base is empty. Fouls it back with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Real Muto in the box now. No balls and a strike. Owen two as he waves at that one. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. The O2. Got him looking. That's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, 2-0. Top six. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. Mack, back to work. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Well, these Phillies just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Hey, plays that one right here. It misses. It's a strikeout. Took that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, a reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly, it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Rojas in the box with one away as he takes ball one. and it's one and one. one He's been going one after strike. these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Nice. Strike two. Woo. To the right side. Vogel back. Takes it himself. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. This is Bryson Stott. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Gets the Mets three and the Phillies nothing. We go to the top of the seventh and now the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day.
kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. One away. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's Bryce Harper. One for two. And that drops in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Strike two. Oh, Ground ball right side. McNeil gets it to first. And two away to start the seven. Up next to Philadelphia. The left fielder. Kyle. Two outs, bases empty. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. And strike two. Okay. Left-hand batter waits. And right back to the mound. Slings to first. Schwarber out of the play. And that'll do it. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mets three and the Phillies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Trey Turner now. The Phils in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. pitch there's the strike and there's a breaking ball that drops in there his swing now it appealed to first and he went around that's ruled the swing well he made pretty quick work of him right there you look at the sequence everything down at the knees and below and some guys are good low ball hitters but right there they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Here go now. Let's go. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Real Muto stands in now and watches strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Yo one. Swing and a miss. 
All right, there's number eight, one away. Hit hard, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In there, and it's 0-1. Man on second, two down. This one in the air center field. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it here, 3-0. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the DH, Johan Rojas. Mac back to work. Just oh. missed. And the pitch. There's a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. And a pitch. And a count one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Got him looking. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman. Bryson stop. That's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. Hard hit left side. Lindor on the first. Two up, two down. The battle. The center field. Brandon. So they're down to their final out. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, two way, two way. That's in there. Okay. And that's it. Series over. They are off to the NLDS. So the New York Mets sweep this wild card series with back-to-back -back wins and look ahead now to the division series. Well, they really showed up, Boog, and so did these home fans. A lot of really positive energy in this ballpark, and I'm sure that had some impact at least. And this club has to feel excited moving on to the next round with a lot of good momentum on their side. And, of course, on the other side, the season comes